Welcome to the next video in our series on 70 volt speaker systems. Today we're going to look at the proper method of assembling a typical 8 inch speaker assembly. But first, let's take a look at the components that we'll be using. This is the Atlas Tile Brace. These are necessary to put the weight of the assembled loudspeaker assembly on the grid and not the center of the tile. The CS95-8 backhand is for 8 inch speakers. A backhand helps keep the speaker clean from debris over the years, and a properly sized back can will improve the sound of the speaker. The CT830T72 coax speaker with transformer is a two-way 8-inch ceiling speaker for 70-volt applications. This is a big improvement over regular utility 8-inch speakers. The 62-8 metal grill is a nice-looking four-screw grill. Metal speaker assemblies like we're showing here are pretty much the same price as the plastic assemblies due to the increased cost of plastic. So we see the nicer metal grills and assemblies being used more and more. A word of caution, when selecting speaker assemblies, we strongly suggest using the same brand all the way through. Sometimes different brands have holes that will not match up together. So buy all Atlas or buy all Lowell or buy all 4J branded pieces. Let's look at Dave Thompson put together a speaker assembly. We've asked him to move slower than normal so we could have time to show you what's going on. Likely you'll be able to do this much faster than we illustrate here. The first thing to do is to cut the hole in the ceiling tile. Remember, the visible side must be kept in perfect condition, so take care to use clean hands and touch only the edges. Suspending it over a brace and a trash bag will help keep waste under control. Usually you can use the back of your saw to mark the hole, but we're using a pen so it'll show up well on the video. The center hole is about 12 inches in diameter. Measure carefully and get a well-centered hole. Mark the screw holes too. You'll see why soon. Next, attach the grill. Use the small nuts. Be sure not to over tighten, but make sure they're firm to the speaker. Okay, next we need to prepare the wires. Now watch as he is careful not to trim off the unused wires at the same length. Not only do we not want them touching anything else, we don't want them to touch themselves. Taping the standing cut side up will keep this from happening. Notice how he does this in the video. Now let's assemble the back can to the tile brace. The four screws that he's going to use are provided with your back can. Again, make sure these are very tight. Now, 
line up your tile. You'll be able to see now why we cut the holes out from the screws. Wires are stuck through the hole that's been punched in the back can already. When he puts the grill on, the screw holes will not be impeded by the tile itself. Now, as you put the screws on the grill, don't tighten any of them until you get them all started. And be sure not to over tighten the screws because if you do, this will dimple the grill and not give you an aesthetically pleasing installation. And that's about it. You can easily figure on five to ten minutes per speaker assembly. Our next planned video is on the assembly of an Atlas FAP 42T. This speaker assembles a little bit differently, and we hope to be able to show that to you on our next video. Thanks for watching.